Now we'll see if they can back it up on the court. It's Saturday night and live on 2K Sports. We've got the excitement of the NBA for you tonight. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, and our sideline reporter is David Aldridge. D.A., take it away. Thank you very much. Now the calls to shorten the NBA season continue. One NBA president has even suggested a 58-game schedule. And for the playoffs, one and done. He says there's a reason people tune into every football game. The college tournament in 63 games gets more TV money than we do in our entire regular season. The more drama, the more TV ratings, the more money. Kevin? What's not to like? Everything makes sense. Rest the players, more practice time, and all the things you just talked about. Maybe DA less is more. And thanks for the report. Now the starting group for the visitors. Richardson is out there with Hudson. Then there's Harris. And it's Ford in at the small forward. And now, Greg, that we're into the meat of the season, are you seeing any emerging trends out there? For a few years, uh, the trend had been guys shooting from farther and farther out. But, Kevin, I think we're seeing a return of the big man, a, a more concerted effort to attack the interior. Here's Paige. Pass to Richardson. Here's Page. The three. The basket good off the assist from four. Three points. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Six on the shot clock. Lakic, and there's the slam dunk to finish it off. And one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then, Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Boy, picture perfect teamwork that time, guys. One guy sacrificing for the other. That's how you succeed in this league. Here's Ford, and good work on the boards. They pick up the second chance points. That kind of energy and hustle on the glass usually produces good results. To the paint. Here's Holland. Comes out of the gate empty. He's 0 for 1. Gone 2 or 3 here to start out the game. Pass to Page. Launches it. Gets the three pointer to fall. Page has got six points. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. And you know what? They're going to keep using him. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. In by Jones. Lakic. It's hauled in by Richardson. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. Oh, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. Boy, I tell you what. They've got this team just a step away from being completely oh. sleep. And here's a look at some numbers for him. Gone two or three from deep so far in this game. Harris looking it over. Shoots a fader. That one drops for him. Defensively giving up far too many open rhythm looks. And to battle back, they've got to shore up the defense. I mean, there's no other way to come back from a deficit unless you play good defense. Olich, guarded by Harris. Jones with the screen on Harris. And Jones has it in the corner. Lakic. And nothing is falling for him right now. Gone five and six so far from the field to start out the game. Count that one. Page has got his third basket of the night right there. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement.
we get a chance to check out the standings out west. Already we're in December. They hold the first place spot in the conference just right where they want to be. They've got momentum. Gone just one of four to get this game started. Lakich. A putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Oh, big time putback there. What a great motor on this guy. There is no one who goes after those rebounds harder. And night in and night out, that's what he provides. Now here is Harris. His last outing with 20 points. Richardson with a screen for Harris. Nice move. And he connects with the jumper. Harris has got his second bucket of the game to go. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this league. Quality looks they're getting and they're capitalizing on them, guys. They have to be happy with this start offensively. Lakic. He can't get that one to fall. Good work defensively by Richardson. Here's Hudson. And he banks in the layup. I like their focus coming in. Terrific execution so far. And you know, it's an all-out effort they've come in with. Very aggressive offense so far. Pass to Holland. Lakic. It's hauled in by Harris. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing falling. And you know, you can sense his frustration. This is going to be a test of his resolve here. Now, here's Richardson. No points in the game yet for him. Here's Page. And the three off target. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Here's Ellison. A look at his stats. He averages a bit over eight points a game. Lakich, and he takes that one up and powers it through. Puts the D in a tough spot when you have a point guard who can throw it down. He really does, G.A. He really does put pressure on. And you know, guys, showing how dynamic a weapon he is for this offense, they feed off of that energy and ability to make plays. It gets them going. And Steve Clifford right. wants a timeout. Now some of the best in the NBA right here. The top scores, efficiency-wise. To the inside from 11 feet away. Rebounded by Hudson. Gone two or four from beyond the arc to start the game. Page passes to Harris. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. It will be a re jump.
Richardson the pass to Page. Here's the three. He misses it. He's four for seven from the floor. The pass to Ellison. Down to five on the shot clock. Let's it go from the wing. First shot, first pass. He's out of the blocks fast. The entire defense was frozen footed. Nobody picked up the shooter. Inside, Richardson. So it's Richardson with the jam. Excellent all-around performance so far. Hits the big lead. Yeah, you know, they've had the advantage at both ends. They've got all the momentum early on. Screen by Jones. Lakich. Rebounded by Hudson. You know, he just has not been himself this period. Just too inconsistent up and down at the offensive end. Pass to four. And here is Harris. For three. That shot, no good. 33% here on the first quarter. Olich guarded by Harris. Jones with the screen on Harris. Olich, and he drives in, banked in off the glass. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Here's Page. Off target with his three. Here's Ellison. To the right side. go that time and already they staked out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the backboard and the trend they'd love to continue right through the next three quarters as well some tough offensive sets they want to turn it around yeah right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum Olich guarded by Harris Olich and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. Exactly. The defense determined not to allow the easy layup right there. They'll settle for making him earn the free throw. Both teams will make substitutions. Free throw shooting is about mechanics, confidence, and your mental approach. He's locked in from there most every night. Weber, the pass to Richardson. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. I'll tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Yeah, if you're going to foul, then make sure that you don't give a chance for the and one. First free throw is good. And Richardson drops them both. And among NBA bigs, he is known for his ability to deliver at the free throw line. Here's the screen. Fires for three. It's hauled in by Richardson. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Weber, the pass to Knox. Richardson outside. Oh, he is a highlight reel unto himself, guys. Well, that could be a contender for the dunk of the year, I think. Without question, a crowd pleaser to the 10th degree. And that's life above the rim. Courtesy of our AT&T 5G Slam Camp. Passes to Fuller. Out to the right wing. Here is Pippen. 
looking at his numbers, he's averaging about uh, six and a half points a game. All right, a chance to look at stats for Richardson. The last 10 games, he has been on a heck of a run. Averaging 21 points per game, eight rebounds, and six assists. And you talk about guys who just have a nose for putting up points. He is one of them. Yeah, he sure is, and he rarely has back-to-back -back bad games. If he has an off night, he usually follows that up with a big night. That free throw, no good. And he misses the second one as well, so he is 0 for 2 that time. And that one gives them a plus 5 rebound advantage, Kevin. It's pretty clear they're dominating that area. They've come out with a lot more energy and effort so far. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. And so here's the home team, trailing by 19. Pass to Holland. Two minutes remaining in the first two minutes. 156 left in the first quarter of the game. Here's Shaw, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And now look at Knox, some stats on him. A wonderful string of games he's put together here lately. And how about his top 10 ranking and free throw percentage? A knockdown shooter, ultra reliable from the line. And back to his phenomenal efficiency from three, top 10 in the league. His consistent shooting creates so many openings in the defense. And that one misses. Second free throw, no good. Absolutely stone cold at the line thus far. And they need every point they can muster right now. They've got to cash in here. Fires from deep. It's rebounded by Maxwell. Hard to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down. No defender in sight. The pass to Fuller. There's the pick to end the run. On the basket by Pittman. Could have been much better defense. I mean, you can't give this guy any room to operate. Now, here is Weber. Coming off a solid outing against Miami. Richardson, good. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. Here is Pittman, guarded by Weber. Pittman misses. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. Yeah, sensational is a really good word for it. They're tearing it up on the glass. Really seizing the momentum of this game, but doing it with a methodical approach. And, you know, that involves pounding it inside, getting as many points as you can right at the rim. That demoralizes the team. To the wing on the left. Clock at four. Holland, no good. Boy, the defense got lucky there with him missing. But they don't want to chance that again. 
Now Weber. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Pass to Richardson. And a great assist by Weber as that one goes in. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flame. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming, attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. We're at the end of the first quarter, and what a blowout already in this one. Delivering the blowout. And we'll get things started in the second quarter when we return. This, folks, second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And looking at what we've seen so far, guys, from the visiting team, what do you think? Well, the offense is clicking, and they seem to have seized the momentum here early on. Yeah, you know, I agree. No warm-up needed. They came in on fire and have already built a nice lead. And so here's the home team. They'll be playing host to Toronto for the next one. That'll be the latter half of this two-game homestand. There's the screen. Here's Shaw. Oh, that's blocked. And so out of bounds it goes. And they'll keep possession. And right now, let's watch that terrific swat. Superb anticipation on that rejection. And that'll allow them to stay on the lead if they keep defending like that. Maxwell, the pass to Fuller. And you hear the term point forward. But then, Greg, you had Magic Johnson. 6'9", but still a point guard. So, what's the difference? Uh, well, when you talk about a point forward, it's someone whose versatility extends to their playmaking. Magic is the rare talent who redefined the point guard position. They've got Harris. Knox out there with Richardson. Then it's Weber, and it's Ford, and at the small forward position. There's the pick. Out to the wing. Olich, and it's blocked. Weber with it. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. Not a lot of resistance on the inside, and they're taking full advantage. The play in the paint has gone almost entirely all their way. Fuller guarded by Weber. Lock at six. Here's Fuller. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Personal foul. First team foul. This is his first trip to the line tonight. Four at the line for two. First one falls for him. Jones checked in for Shaw. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. And we're now about a minute and a half into the second quarter. And here is Harris. Looking at the numbers, he's averaging about 20 and a half points a game. He does not lack for confidence. And he shouldn't. I mean, this guy is a dangerous scorer. Passes it to Jones. Shot clock at six. Pass to Ellison. Fires the three. Rebounded by Knox. Knox has got his sixth rebound on the night. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Guys, that's putting it mildly. I mean, they've been absolutely dominant. 
chemistry at its best. An unreal alley-oop. Yeah, though, you're right. The pass, the catch, the dunk, all of it perfect. And it all had to be because that's not nearly as easy as they made it appear. Here's Page. He's got 10. And there's the pass to Knox. Here's Ford. From outside, off the mark. Gone two of six in the field in the second quarter so far. Olich, guarded by Harris. Pass to Maxwell. Three pointer. No good. That's miss number two against three makes from the field. Harris outside. Passes it to Page. Shot left block. That misses off the backboard. Gone one of three from way outside since the start of the second quarter. That's tipped. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed in this second quarter of play. On the wing, Jones. From deep. Page with the rebound. Not quite enough defense that time around. Just lucky he was off. Olich. Page with the rebound. Gone four of eight so far here in the second quarter. And now the latest from our reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. We've heard about player tracking on the court, but now shot tracking is helping players refine their strokes. It measures not just makes or misses, but the arc and the depth and the left to right direction of shots. These systems provide instant time feedback out, to out. shooters and help them find the bottom of the net. Kevin, back to you. Sign me up. I, that, is a, that is a fascinating story. David, thank you. And Steve Clifford wants a timeout. contenders for the dunk contest we get a look at some of the showmen the best showmen in the nba and with the names on that list you know we're going to have a crazy competition this year almost all the way up there in the top spot i don't know if he'll make it to number one but you'd have to say he's going to be a part of the contest for sure it's looking that way and the contest will be a lot better off having him in it he always puts on a show so there you go, and as it's looking, this year's dunk contest is shaping up to be a fantastic competition. We'll keep you updated on the voting. No doubt it's going to be a good one, Kevin. But we've got players on that list who'll do things that you didn't even think were possible. Harris, good. Yeah, clearly a defensive lapse there. He is automatic from deep if you're going to leave him that wide open. Big time mistake. Olich. Terrific assist, a nice finish, solid play all around. Boy, he's doing everything he can at this point. The rest of his teammates need to step up and give him some help. Here's Ford, boom, he jams it straight down. Nothing soft about the putback there. And why chance it, right? Take the dunk if you've got it. Well, you know, if nobody's gonna put a body on him, then that's gonna be the result. Lakic, how's that for an answer? Right back with the dunk. Taking matters into his own hands. Yeah, we didn't expect to see that kind of finish. And you know, guys, when your point guard is making explosive plays at the rim, I really do think it sets the tone for the rest of the team. For the away team, Harris, one shot. A free throw off from Harris. Greg, you think of everything that goes into making it to the NBA as a player. Did it come easy for you, or was it all work? It's easy, really, to overlook the grind, but when you love the game, all those hours in the lab don't feel quite like work. At least not until you start getting a little longer in the two. Pass to Knox, or the three. It falls for the sixth time in seven tries this contest. That's 86%. Tell you what, he has been feeling it, guys. And the best game plan right now, it's elementary. Just keep feeding him. Let him eat. Lakic nails it from the high post. Eight points for him. 
pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You got to be tougher defensively. Just playing with poise and confidence, and they continue to put points on the board. Well, I like the way they're playing. A very smart first half. Quality shots, not wasting possessions. They set the screen with the drive. That's in for his fifth field goal of the game. Makes him 5 for 12 so far. I like the play call. Very solid. Making perfect use of the pick to get a great look. Here's Page. He's got 12. There's the pass to Hudson. And Harris, wide open. He shoots. Hits it from three-point range. Three points. Harris has got 14. And the D has gotten a little bit laxed here, defending the triple. A crossover. He gets that one. You know, he started slow, but now in the second quarter, he's finding his groove. Gotten half their shots from three-point range to go down in the second quarter. Three of six from downtown. They get it again. Here's Ford. A three-pointer is right on target. Ford's got five points now in the quarter. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Clearly just an example of a different mindset between these teams. Lakic, that's good. It's his seventh May basket in 14 tries. <laughs> that was big because they dug a big hole in the first quarter, but starting to show signs of life. Sometimes, for whatever reason, a lot of times you, you don't know why. It takes a little while to work the knots out, but it looks like they're putting it together right now. Takes it up with both hands and rips it down. Straight power, homie. I mean, he ripped it down <laughs> with both hands. Absolutely a resounding dunk. Yeah, for sure. That was a take-no-chances, take-no-prisoner slam right there, guys. Boy, has he put his foot on the pedal here this quarter. He's doing a terrific job in terms of leading their offense. Goes up on the high post. It's hauled in by Harris. Harris has got his fourth rebound in this one. There's a screen. Here's Page. It's rebounded by Maxwell. Well, that's a rare miss for him inside. He may have just rushed it a bit. Maybe lost concentration, too. Takes the 13-footer, and it's Ford with the rebound. Ford's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Pass to Page. Passes it to Harris. Pass to Page. From past the arc. Good. And Harris gets the assist. Harris has got four assists now tonight. He's picking up right where he left off in the first quarter. Down low, Jones the pass to Ellison. Lakic from 16 feet away, he can He's got 18. You know, he's got to be exasperated right now, fellas. I mean, playing excellent ball, but they're still losing. And it's good for two. You know, so far he's been dominant this period, making the most of his opportunities. One twenty-four left in the first half of basketball. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. It's his first trip to the line. And, and he buried a bunch of shots from the strike in that last game. And one look at the box score will confirm that. You know, he's been one of those players they've wanted on the line as much as possible this season, especially in close games, guys. And the first one at the line is good. They've scored really well this quarter. Keep it up, and they'll find themselves right back in it. So both teams changing it up here. 
So he picks up just one from the line that time. He kicks it to Pittman. Right wing takes the three. And cranes it from beyond the arc. He's got 22. Yeah, he's owning them on the offensive end, but, you know, he can't do it by himself. Now, here is Weber. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Here is Pippen, guarded by Weber. There's 45 seconds left to play in the first half. Lakich, guarded by Harris. It's good. Yeah, they've raised their shooting percentage in this quarter, and they're starting to get on track. And they're starting to heat up is what they're doing. They're on fire. I mean, that's what they need to climb back into this game. Now, here is Weber. Looking at his numbers, he averages a bit over nine points a game. Richardson gets a wide-open look, and he's good on the three ball. Richardson's got 13. And when you've got a big man who can shoot from distance like that, what a huge advantage. And the pass to Holland. No good on that one. A dominating first half of basketball. And so far, hasn't been close. Delivering the blowout. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much, Steve.